Welcome to Tesla Scale Workshop. I'm Brett Green, and today we're with Colin from Freight Dog Models. And uh, you've been quite busy, haven't you, over the last few months with new releases? Yes, we have. We're getting ready for the show. There's a lot of stuff, um, a lot of build up for it, so it's all a big event for us. And uh, we've, we've working on uh, the major release we have for the show is the, the Blue Max Mackie M5 kit, which is. Um, some people might know we took over Blue Max and Pegasus um, two years ago. Yes. Uh, at the time, Blue Max had a, a kit that had never been released, um, but it was in the raw state. The mouldings were done, but the details hadn't been finished. Right. So uh, we took the opportunity, uh, knowing there was another Mackie kit around, but it did have some shape issues. Yes. Uh, we took our own kit. We um, did a collaboration with um, Rowan Broadbent at Fion yes. Models, and yes. we added a jig and a very comprehensive decal sheet right. and very much more detailed instructions than previous kits. Mm -hmm. So, um, and it's been very popular. I mean, right. we, we're nearly sold out, and we've got a big order with Hans to come up soon as well. So, um, we're very pleased about that. It's great to see Blue Max flying again, literally. Yes. Well, we're going to keep the name going. I mean, it's um, the other thing we've done at the show is we've, we've rebranded a lot of the products that were uh, the resin items under the Silver Cloud label. Yes. Um, we've decided to. to market them as Freight Dog because Freight Dog has a very good name and mm -hmm. we're very pleased with the, the sales we get on our decals. Yes. Um, so a lot of our range is under the new label and we've got various new resin sets as well um, out today. So uh, what, what sort of resin sets do you have out? Uh, today we've done some um, uh, Spitfire Mark 8 conversion for the Airfix. Um, yes. This is the, the Airfix um, Mark 9 kit. Yes. I mean there are Mark 8s available from Hasegawa and such mm -hmm. but they're quite expensive and they're hard to get hold of so yep. we've taken an inexpensive kit and added an inexpensive resin set. Yeah, it's quite um, a simple conversion too, by the look of it. Simple. I, well, I made this one last night uh, yeah. at about 11 o'clock, so <laughs> yeah, it didn't take long. Right. Um, and um, we've also done uh, some uh, other Spitfire sets. We've got some uh, Spitfire Mark 9E set that's come out recently, um, and we've also been working on some new decal sheets. Mm -hmm. um, release of the show, we've got uh, the RF over Malaya sheet, right. which yes. is, uh, that one which is uh, 48 yes. scale only. Uh, it's the... Uh, Mosquito, Canberra, and the Bowfighter. Mm -hmm. And we've also done a, a collection of RAF uh, 1950s subjects, yep. um, which is, again, we're picking colourful ones that we're, it's our familiar territory. Yes. Uh, Meacher, uh, the Brigand, which doesn't yep. have any coverage from any other no. producer. So we've done three sheets on the Brigands, and yes. thankfully we can replace the kit decals yep. that are um, not as good as the aftermarket ones. Sure. So. Right. So, but yeah, that's all going very well. Great. And I guess uh, your, uh, your back catalogue is still available too? Back catalogue is still available, yes, mm -hmm. and, uh, and things are selling well. Um, one thing we're, we're trying to, uh, we're actually reducing the stock of now is our 1154 kit, the Project mm -hmm. Flame, which is here. Yes. In fact, we've, we're almost sold out now. Right. Um, we plan to re-release that in the future. Right. Um, the masters have been recovered from Hong Kong with right. Anagrand. They're going to be reworked into a two-seater, oh. and, uh, and eventually the single-seater will be reissued. Yeah. But it, it's, it's quite a strange that it's actually cheaper to produce them in the UK yes. than it is to make them in China now. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. Yes, that's right. Yeah. And nice to see the, uh, the big C5 uh, on display here. Uh, again, we're selling very well. We've, um, we've only got a, two of those left for today. Yeah. Um, we've just had to reprint the decals. We've sold 150 of those. Which yeah. is quite a lot for a yeah. for a I mean for an old Matchbox yeah, yeah, kit right. basically it's yeah. it's going very well mm -hmm. um, and also in the future release we've got the um, the DH4A yes. um, yeah. which is a passenger version a resin and injection molded kit Lovely. that'll be out in a couple of months and that'll be a full kit as, as well it'll be a full kit yes yeah, yeah with, with decals yeah. yeah all right Colin well thank you very much for your time and we'll look forward to uh, seeing what you have in store for us for 2011. Okay. Thank you.